Measurements. One of the weaknesses of students is their inability to use rulers. The rulers in your workbook are divided into fourths, eighths, sixteenths, thirty seconds, and sixty fourths. Rulers are extremely important for all kinds of work. On the screen are various types of rulers. Here is a ruler on the board that is divided into 30 seconds, as you can see on the top, and on the bottom is 60 fourths. You see it right over here, 32 and 60 fourths. Let's just look. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. There's 32 30 seconds in one inch. On the bottom, there's 64 60 fourths. Let's take this number, 16, 30 seconds. By now you should know what 16, 30 seconds equals. 16 goes into 16, 1. 16 goes into 32, 1 half. And you know you always reduce your fractions when you use a ruler. Now go back to this ruler again. You see 16, 30 seconds is the same as 32 60 fourths. So 32 60 fourths equals also one half. Both sides can be divided by 32. Let's do one more. It's 24 30 seconds and 48 60 fourths. 24 30 seconds and 48 60 fourths. Now I know on the ruler that that's going to be three fourths of an inch. So I'm going to put the answer in because I know it's three fourths of an inch. Equals. Three goes into 24, goes eight times, so divide this by eight. Divide this by eight. Eight. 24 divided by 8 is 3, and 32 divided by 8 is 4, and this will be 16. 48 divided by 16 is 3, and 64 divided by 16 is 4. And I like to point out that you always reduce the fractions. Never say the part measures 24 30 seconds or 48 60 fourths. If you can reduce the numbers, always reduce them. Now let's go to my company where I'll explain the various uses for various rulers. Rulers come in all different types and sizes and shapes. This is a tape measure. You find this is a very common ruler that's used around the house and carpenters, plumbers and they come in different sizes. This particular one measures up to 25 feet. Then there's a yardstick used for linoleum, carpets, or dressmakers use this to cut material. And this is 36 inches long. Then there's a 24 inch ruler, a 15 inch 12, which is commonly used like for paper or cutting cardboard in the office. And for most purposes, this is more than adequate. Then there are rulers that are used for precision. This happens to be a 36 inch precision ruler. This is a 24 inch one. Then we have here, there's a 12 inch one. And this is a real precision ruler. This is a six inch, which is commonly used in the machine shop trade and other trades. And we have to measure something. We can put it right in this slot and we can measure the part and see what size it is. So as you can see, rulers are used in many different ways. And we have to know how to use the rulers and to know fractions. Please pause the video now and complete the problems in your workbook. When finished, press play and we'll continue with the next lesson.